big 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 day <laughs> because I want to go around the island it's probably not sensible but I'm gonna try it anyway if it doesn't work I'll take the bus back and uh, get the canoe from somewhere and the north of the island is supposed to be really remote and rough and the winds are good for going past the north side so tomorrow will be light uh, but from the south so it's uh, it's really good winds to do this um, yeah I'm super excited maybe too I'm probably too excited and I'll get a crash at some point but I'm just gonna go and it looks great <laughs> oh man <laughs> let's do this baby <laughs> I am excited. I haven't lost my excitement yet, but I am calming down. Uh, the boat was starting to surf already. And uh, if I want to, um, th this is quite an open stretch that I'm in now. And I'm not feeling entirely comfortable. It's also, it's still the first hour of my journey. So I wasn't feeling comfortable. The boat was starting to plane. So I thought, uh, let's take in a reef. I was thinking about a reef, so you put it in. And um, I'm averaging almost five knots, which is pretty good. I'm uh, near the bridge already. <laughs> Two and a half hours on the way. Done uh, 25 kilometers. So it's going really, really fast. And uh, in the gust, I was planing uh, well. And uh, now, um, yeah, I got a bit of a rest. The bridge is coming up. And uh, the boat is just eating up the miles, double reef. As we talk, yeah, the boat is planing. <laughs> but uh, it's so easy. And uh, I now, so I've now turned the corner. I'm, I made it through the gap. And uh, I'm going right now. And I think it's rather wobbly. And so I'm making the crossing a little bit upwind to get first to the coast. I hope the water will be flatter down there. And then I can just plane uh, downwind. Now we'll see about that. If it's uh, get too tiring, I'll just put a third reef in and I'll drift. Uh, I'll drift home. Somewhere around four o'clock, the wind was expected to be wind force five. I don't think this is wind force five yet, but four, yeah, <laughs> I guess. And uh, I hope it will soon become a little bit uh, more quiet. Ah. <laughs> If you stop the boat, there's nothing going on, really. But uh, it's just that uh, boats are making so much noise. <laughs> it looks like a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit hairy. I did. Uh, just, I needed my. I wanted my third reef, but I thought let's go to the coast first before I get uh, that reef. So all good, and it should not be far now anymore. Uh, it's been a big day, 60 kilometers or something. <coughs> My highest average ever. Uh, it was just, the wind was with me, the current was with me. Uh, no slow bits. The boat wasn't even planing because it was too heavy. I don't know if it was planing, but it was not too fast. Uh, all good. 60 kilometers done in six hours. And even my beer is still cold, my wine is still cold. A few. Hey. to go on the water uh, I'm preparing to go paddling but today I'm supposed to 
pass uh, a blow which is a really shallow a bit and I'm quite curious how that will be I've been eyeing that spot for years so uh, it's nice to make it and also I'll go in the direction near or at uh, Funshoved <coughs> which is quite an open stretch of water <laughs> and <coughs> since there's no wind um, it should be doable uh, today dream was that I was doing this in sunshine and 25 degrees of warmth. Well. Okay, I'm super happy. <laughs> I found a shelter. Uh, it's strange how your mood can swing. Uh, all is good, got my food, got my water. Beaching was easy. And uh, great. All is good. There's even uh, dressing rooms for the beach here. So I hope it will be very quiet tomorrow morning so hi Oof. it was hard work <laughs> and I'm happy I found my shelter all good yes and uh, I'm a little bit excited because I will try to round uh, Funshoved today I made a course straight for the, for the Cape over there and after that I'm making a right turn and then I will have another mark crossed on my course uh, I still want to make it round I just want to so <laughs> I will try <laughs> just looks great and if it doesn't work out I can go to Kerteminde um, there's like a shortcut to Kerteminde it's a long portage um, but it cuts 20 kilometers off the route so uh, it may be an option and I can just stay there or uh, whatever so uh, oh it's looking great the swell is coming from the big open water over there is Funshoved. Um, if I want to cancel for whatever reason, there's Kerteminde where the sun is. Um, I'm getting off the coast already and the wind has freshened up a little bit. I'm still not quite sure what is sensible to do, to go really close into the Funshoved. I think so, yes. Because if the current is too strong, maybe I can walk in or it will be really shallow really close to the coast so uh, um, and there's no waves to speak of so I opt for for staying close to shore it looks like I made it if something goes wrong now I'll wash ashore but uh, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Oof, I'm relieved <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
there's so much water and my boat is so small. Um, and you know this is a place not to uh, not to fool with. I think the wind was the best it could be. Any lighter and you just don't make progress. And uh, the rain would have caught up with me, so that would not have been fun. Oh yeah, and now we're starting training. Sure. I think we got some more turns. This is going really, really well. I think we got a, it was at least four or six. Uh, it was uh, pushing the floats under. I was hiking quite full, uh, but it was pushing the floats under. And I was not far from shore, but uh, that kind of wind can blow you offshore, can blow you away. Um, whew, that was a big, big wind. I think I'm gonna get a coffee or something here to uh, warm up as a camping. So I hope they, they got something for me. After the cappuccino I found a little cabin. I had to pay for it. <laughs> but I'm happy. Uh, things are getting salty. My hair is getting salty. Uh, I need to restock on a few things. And I need a bit of rest. I didn't get where I was hoping to be today. But uh, it's alright. <laughs> that squall really did me in. the soon bridge uh, or actually I just want to get south I have a very ambitious route again in my uh, GPS but we'll see how far I get with that one the breakfast of champions <laughs> that's my goal for today the soon bridge wow shelter because there was a shower coming up and I like to have a break and then we get a burger place with parking for canoes big bridge uh, after such a dreary and dark uh, day rain and I wasn't trusting the, the rain clouds and uh, I couldn't lay the course further south. Uh, it was uh, it would have been tacking and uh, I didn't know it was so late already but it's, uh, it was uh, 5.30 when I landed and uh, yeah they gave me the best seat in the house. <laughs> very very nice. So uh, I'm just gonna sit here, I still have some rosé uh, left and I'm gonna enjoy my wine. <laughs> 
um, look at the ships passing by looking at the huge bridge that I uh, sailed under today it's amazing that I I just sailed there <laughs> in my little boat and uh, yeah it's glorious now it's warm I've been like cold all day and uh, now it's warm and dry all good so let's uh, have some wine hmm. morning. <laughs> uh, if I have a sailed course to the entrance of uh, Svendborg, if I have the current with me in Svendborg soon, which should run with me until three o'clock this afternoon, uh, yeah, then it would just be fun to do the island, to go to the island of Dreyer. Uh, I can always sail back uh, tomorrow to uh, uh, to Svendborg, and that's just a short, uh, short stretch. <laughs> well, this is just glorious. Um, I put a reef in. Things were just uh, too fast. Uh, I average over 10 kilometers an hour, and uh, I think the current is helping me a bit. But uh, as you can see, we are planing. We are not planing at the moment. Already an hour on the way, and already I did uh, like 12 kilometers. And uh, this upwind bit also was just fantastic. I had a double reef in, everything pulled real tight. Uh, I could sail through the gap, although there was a little bit of current already against me. So I wonder what will happen at uh, Svendborg. The current was against me and I could just make it uh, sailing through upwind. And then once through the gap, uh, it, things got easier. And this bit on, the, on this, it's a small lake. And I think there is a wind force 6 here because there's a tunnel effect. And the wind really piped up. Uh, but uh, pff, I was making four and a half knots upwind. Uh, it was just going like mad. And it looks like the current is against me. <laughs> so I think it will be the camping uh, over here where I'll stay. I think uh, the journey ends here. Um, the current is against me and the wind is against me. It was fun sailing. I had to uh, make a bend here at Svendborg. And uh, first was no wind, then there was wind force uh, six ish. So, uh, interesting conditions. And it took quite long to make the bend. But I'm here, I think I'm at the camping. And uh, yeah, I think, it, I think this is it. I'd like Tomorrow it will be uh, cloudy and more wind, still west wind. So uh, Svendborg is uh, my end point. Tomorrow I'll get the car, put the canoe on the car and uh, then drive home the day after tomorrow. So, uh, oh, good trip.